Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind this is a general reading and some of the messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, so let's get into your video. Hope you are all doing well. Um, yeah, okay, cards are flipping out already. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box, blocks, box. Please click on that link and you can book a reading with either myself or Brandy. Okay, so you've got talking and you've got separation. And then you've got the phoenix. Okay, let me see. And boat. I don't know why. I just keep saying, get a couple more here. Um, and you've got mask. Okay. So, I mean, let's see. Looks like you might be talking to somebody um, interested or someone's interested in conversing that somebody wants to talk to you they're waiting for you yeah okay so you're in separation i guess someone's really missing you they're thinking about you right now and they're waiting to hear from you i'm hoping that they're going to hear from you um either a text a call or email um this person's kind of like watching you online looking to see what you're doing kind of hoping that you're gonna like talk to them or um, send them a message this person is like so unsure about you know the future um they think there still is a future they don't know what to think okay so you've got phoenix maybe someone's from phoenix arizona um but there is new phase i do feel like someone wants to renew a connection with you rekindle a romance <coughs> oh my goodness transform i feel like this person person had why don't why can't i talk this person this person has had some growth and they have changed things about themselves or they're changing their mind and would like to rekindle relationship okay um all right so i do feel like right now they're wearing a mask they're not showing their true feelings to anybody Okay, they're kind of like pretending that they're okay at this time. Um, and they are telling other people that, no, they're like, I'm fine. I've moved on. No, I'm, I'm not going back to Virgo. I'm not interested. I'm moving forward. I, you know, I have, I got the closure. I don't have any closure issues. Everything's fine. Somebody's like wearing a mask with other people. Or they're just telling everybody that they're fine. Meanwhile behind the scenes dun, 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 this person is like really wants to talk to you they're hoping yeah they're they're kind of like they have their poker face i feel like somebody's got their poker face and they're not letting anybody know that you know whoever they're talking to whoever's in their life at this time would you know even if there's other people or another special person or whatever now this person is secretly like like i'm they're they're missing you behind the mask you know and and they're they're kind of watching you and they're hoping that you're going to reach out but you know they're they're moving on i mean they're like they're moving forward they're living their life you know i mean i don't see this person as like um just you know flat out i mean they're doing things they might be traveling a little bit and things like that but it just feels to me like they're they're pretending that they are okay they're pretending that they're okay all right um okay let's get into let's see what some of the romance angels messages are here okay yeah poker face not saying anything keeping it to themselves not letting anybody know that they're hurt or they're missing you and they're just like no i'm fine trust finances and career i'm probably going to retire these cards because they kind of like get on my nerves at this point like when they first came out the romance angels everybody was like "Ooh, la yay romance angels hooray and it's been years okay it's been years and you know i think it's gonna i think it's gonna be the end so okay the situation is this person is trusting that you're gonna come back they're right now dealing with their finances their career stuff this is what they're focusing on um but you know past life relationship they're stuck on you virgo somebody's stuck on you and we'll get into that and see who that is okay or see what shows up here tell virgo more about this person who is like walking around the world with the mask on and 
the poker face and, you know, not showing that they're, you know, really hoping and praying that there's going to be some rekindling between the two of you. Now, remember, the roles could be reversed, Virgo. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yes. This is reunion. This person really, like, I mean, they want, they've got a changed mind. I, I'm hearing, like, I've changed my mind. I, I want to do this commitment thing. I want to do this this marriage thing. Um, I want to get back together. I want to, um, like, try to rebuild this foundation of trust with you. Okay. This is their desire. This is their desire. Okay. What else do they have desire-wise for Virgo? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, they just want to get over this heartbreak. I mean, I feel like this person, I don't know if you had an argument or this is a breakup. Maybe you broke up or there was some kind of separation or something that happened. My gosh, my ear keeps ringing. Something that happened here. Um, there might have been third party involvement or whether that's people, places and things. Um, yeah, I feel like this person, you know, their desire here is just to, you know, talk. I feel like this person wants to talk. And I don't know if you're not talking to this person. They have no interest, really, in other love interests. Like, you're it. I feel like this person might have offered love to you before or made attempts, but they were always, like, potentials here because every ace is a potential. They might have done that in the past, and it just really, you know, kind of just didn't go anywhere. For some reason, maybe you were not comfortable with the relationship or you blocked it, or, you know, you were just undecided in the past about certain things about them. Yeah, but I also feel like other offers that they get from other people, they're like, no. So I kind of feel like maybe, I don't know, you guys seem to be not in alignment. Like you're on, you're on different, um, different levels. I feel like, you know, like when one person wanted something, the other person didn't. And now the other person wants it and one person doesn't. So it's kind of like you guys, I don't know, there's a little bit of back and forth in and out off and on kind of energy so it looks like this person is on and virgo i guess you're off i don't know i guess you're not communicating or you're not interested in something here um but they're stuck on you stuck on you okay let me see that i'm on my way <laughs> Gosh. Uh, virgo yeah i mean Okay, what are you going to do? I mean, you know, I mean, they're they're ready, willing, and able to meet halfway, have some kind of conversation, sit down and talk, do all that stuff. You know, they want to talk to you. I don't even feel like, like, I just feel like they want to talk to you or they want the opportunity to communicate with you or talk to you. Let me see what's going on with you here, Virgo. And this person's like ready to go the distance. They really, even with that four of wands, you know, meet the family if that if that never happens um you know come home so he wants to come home get the family back together they want you to meet their friends they want to meet yours you know have like just kind of reunite like talk be together all that stuff okay show me virgo's energy all right that card yeah 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 well, right now, you're not seeing anything, Virgo's like, shh, Virgo's like, you're being silent. You're being silent. I don't know why you're being silent. Maybe you're just being silent overall, or you're just keeping to yourself. Um, oh, yeah, you're kind of like, you're not chasing, that's for sure. The high priestess just sits very still. High priestess sits in like a very meditative spot. High Priestess is like, be still, don't do anything, don't run, don't, don't run away, don't chase, Virgo, I kind of feel like, I feel like you're, <laughs> Virgo, I don't, like, I just feel like you're kind of like, well, if the person is going to, like, do anything, they have to be the ones to, like, make some kind of effort here, you know, um, some type of solid offer, it doesn't matter how fast um, or how slow it, it just has to be real, you know. Um, I don't feel like you really want someone to come rushing back in if it's a fake offer. Yeah, you're like, no, that's fine. I mean, I'm not going anywhere, you know, uh, I'm not chasing anybody. If a solid offer comes in, like, even if it's not from this person, anybody, 
Virgo's like, I'm perfectly fine sitting right here between my two BJ pillar pillars. <laughs> And I'm for, I'm perfectly so fine just, you know, sitting behind my curtain and uh, not letting anybody know what's behind the magic curtain, Virgo, you know. Just having your bowl of fruit every morning, doing what you're doing for yourself, if you're having fruit. Also, very spiritual energy. Look at the cross there. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't feel like... I think you did you stop an off and on kind of thing and um I, did was the relationship i don't know i'm just kind of getting this message like one person was running and the other was chasing and then one person stopped running turned around started chasing because the other one started running so it looks like you're just like nope nobody's running here nobody's chasing here okay what are your desires here with this person there we go Hmm, there we go. Wow, you've got the nine of wands. Your guard is up. Mm. Your guard is 100% up with that nine of wands. Like you, it looks like you have been through the battle with something here. Um, your desire is to protect yourself with from this person. What? Huh. Very guarded. Um... I don't know, protect yourself from this person or just protect yourself in general. But I did ask what your desire is. Like, what do you want with this person? What do you want from them? Um, some of you want them to be able to, like, come in and break down your walls because they might be a reason that you have this protective energy. And you want this person, like, you're, you're not going to open yourself up to this, okay? You, you're kind of like the only thing that would break down this barrier like you say to yourself that you have up here is if this person comes in with a solid offer and really, really wants to talk about something real, right? Otherwise, yeah, you're sitting pretty nice and quiet doing your thing. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, it is. Break down the wall. Yeah, I mean, that's like the biggest thing because Virgo, you're not opening yourself up to this person. Like, I feel like you, you just don't want to be vulnerable with someone here you know um maybe you don't feel safe I, i'm not really sure but i'm gonna get a couple of clarifying cards because you have two major arcanas so tell me more about this high priest that virgo's energy is in high priestess mm, okay King of Cups been showing up a lot lately in your readings. Um, and the Tower. Queen of Swords. Wow. Okay, so Virgo, you must have on your mind someone who, like you must be dealing with a King or a Queen of Cups or a Queen or a King of Swords. Okay, but mostly the King of Cups here. Okay, which mm, could be a Pisces cancer or scorpio although king cups from my um understanding is a scorpio and the queen of swords from my understanding is a libra okay but you know it's air and it's water but overall yeah you you definitely have some kind of thing here with this king of cups and if you're a person's sign it's not a king of cups it's fine it, it's just the element that they're in which is that watery emotional element okay so you have somebody definitely um gosh i don't know if you're like praying for this person or praying for healing or change or praying for like spirit to get into this person's heart Okay, you're communicating to the divine and you're communicating deep within. You're doing some kind of telepathic or something. You're like this King of Cups hears you and that's probably why they're in this energy of wanting to, uh, they're being drawn or pulled back to you. Um, I feel like that could possibly be happening here. Yeah. I feel like that could possibly be happening. Um, 
but also with this tower virgo um no that so you're you're sitting here in this queen of swords energy mostly i feel like that's what this breakdown is you're drawing this person back to you somehow some way i don't feel like it's not a spell <laughs> i don't feel like you're doing any kind of spell work because that's really effed up if you're doing that please don't do that um yeah that it's just really not the way to do things um so i don't feel like it's that i just feel like you're there's some kind of like communication or some prayer praying or um lifting this person up to the light you know that high priestess is very spiritual um high priestess sits there in that energy of, of someone who's like very mysterious and uses her intuition and her wisdom and all this stuff you know um you're i feel like you might be trying to ask for you know the holy ghost or spirit or god or whomever to have like some kind of intercession in this person's heart to bring them clarity um and to get on like the right footing whatever that means you know i'm not really sure they just keep telling me like on the right footing and yeah i feel like because you really want to have um some communication like you want to talk to this person too but you know you don't want to communicate with them um to just go back into the same kind of situation you know what i mean like I feel like, Virgo, if this person just wanted to be friends, you would probably be like, well, maybe another time. But I just see you being very guarded. And um, you're also trying to get yourself out of being guarded in general. Okay, because whatever you went through with somebody here, you definitely have like, you've been broke, busted, and disgusted. I mean, you definitely have some like, I don't know, maybe it's just a damn headache, the whole thing. Okay, look, his arm's bandaged. He's got a bandage around his head. He's looking kind of ragged and worn, you know, and kind of looking back at the situation. It's like, I don't know if I could do this again. I don't know if I can go back to that. You know, it's going to have to be something that's like the real deal otherwise. So, yeah, I mean, Virgo, some of you might still be hoping for there's some kind of change with this relationship, like kind of hoping, but at the same time, you're not like stressing about it. I feel like you might just be kind of giving it, giving it up and just surrendering it and kind of saying, you know, whatever's going to be will be and, you know, that kind of thing. But I do feel like, you know, I'm not calling anybody out, but somebody here does have a desire to you know have something let me let's take a look and see how this person you know what we're gonna do i want to see how this person feels about you um what their feelings are towards you virgo and then i'm gonna look at your feelings towards this person all right how does this person feel how does virgo's person feel about them what are their inner feelings Ooh, ooh. okay so you speak to me through music I will wait for a sign from you. So yeah, I do feel like, okay, there must be some kind of connection to music or they hear some songs that reminds them of you and it's like a constant reminder. Um, some type of music that they hear. I don't know if you shared music together. Or you had a favorite song. It's like whenever a song comes on or something was shared between you every time they hear that song or even if they randomly hear it somewhere in like a coffee shop or something, you know, over the speakers, it's like they're like thinking about you. This person, so many things remind me of you. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I feel like this person would respond to you if you reached out, but I don't feel like you want to, <laughs> Virgo, because I, I feel like you're trying to stop the cycle, you know, of um, if it was an on and off kind of thing. Like, you guys could have been together for like two years, and then you split up for like a year and then you got back together and, and you know, like back and forth, or it could have been, you know, it, like, there's times when people have that little time apart, yeah, but this is like huge, like kind of intense. So I feel like this person, you know, the more time away from like the two of you are in separation, it looks like you are, I don't know if you've gone back to this person before in the past or they've come back to you, but it looks to me like that's not happening here um, on your end, that you are not re-engaging with this person. Instead, you're kind of trying to re-engage with them through some kind of psychic energy of some sort. And they're, 
like it's happening on their end. Okay, not spell work, not spell work. Okay, <laughs> and this is just like positive thinking, positive thoughts, having faith, believing that you know whatever the relationship, you know, asking God to like heal it, do all that kind of stuff. Let me see one more for how this person is feeling. A Virgo's person is feeling about Virgo. I mean, like, you know, we always say, can relationships be fixed? Yes, of course, they can. They can be healed. But both people need to be humble, and they both need to sit with each other face-to-face -face and say, well, you know, I did this because and that, that wasn't the right thing for me to do. I wasn't being my best self. And the other person has to be like, yeah, I was the same. You know, it can't just be one person coming back in and saying, hey, <laughs> I'm all wrong and the other person's all right. You know, I mean, it takes two to tango. And if one person is making like not so great decisions in a relationship and the other person is staying and not getting their needs met, then the other person's also kind of playing a role in that because they're not standing up for themselves. Even if it's just someone saying, hey, you know, this relationship went on a really long time and where I was wrong is I should have stood up for myself and said, you know, I needed more than that and I should have walked away. If someone decided to hold on, hoping to change the other person, that's like, eh, wishful thinking. Okay. So, you know, we either accept people for who they are or we leave them be. You know, there's no trying to change other people. Um, sometimes we got to learn that lesson. You were the best thing in my life. Yeah. I don't really feel, Virgo, that this person has anybody else that's, you know, comparable to you. So I don't know what you did. I'm not sure. You know, there must have been something if you both kept going back and forth with each other for so long. But there was also something that kept the relationship from progressing forward. You know, maybe always a potential. And there could be a lot of reasons. We're not going to get into all of them. You know your story. Um, let's take a look and see how Virgo feels about their person. What is the hidden? Yeah, I'm going to call you out, Virgo. Okay. All right, Virgo wishes they could take back their words. So you might have said something to them, Virgo, possibly. You might have been a little harsh, okay? You might have, like, burned down the house with some, some stuff, some fire-breathing dragon stuff coming out of your mouth, Virgo. You might have reacted or just said some really bad, harsh, like, destructive types of words because if you're in that Queen of Swords energy, very well could have been. You know, not all of you. I know some of you. That's not your story. That's fine. Um, but the Queen of, Queen of Swords, very uh, hmm, candid. Let's just say you might have been very candid. And, you know, Queen of Swords and the King of Cups, eh, not such a great match. That King of Cups is very sensitive. So you might have been a little brittle with your words. But anyway, if not, that's fine. But I see you here wishing you could, like, take back your words. And, yeah, you can't stop thinking about this person, Virgo. So, yeah, what's going on here? What else? How else is Virgo feeling about their person? Gosh, all the cards. We will be together again. and Because I want to feel that. I want to feel that way again. So, some type of way that you felt with this person. You missed that. Um, and I feel like you, like I was saying with this um, high priestess, like something, I guess something within you, Virgo, knows that you two are meant for each other, just couldn't figure out how to work out the kinks. And I feel like your kind of thing is, yeah, we'll be together again. Maybe you just need some time, Virgo, for yourself to sort things out. Maybe you're someone that kept running back to the relationship and because you couldn't, like you get kind of like a... You get far enough away from the person and then you start missing them and then you go back. But there's a reason why you left, right? There's a reason why you walked away or tried to get away. And you might have forgotten that reason because you start missing them. So you're definitely, you, you definitely have things you're sorting out here for yourself. And I feel like, especially in the month of June, I do feel like you, um, are kind of like, you're taking your time. Like, I feel like you do want to talk to this person, but... I don't know, Virgo. You're, you're, you're not sure if things are going to change. I mean, I feel like this person does want to be back with you. Yeah, and does want to try to, like, talk about things and work things out. But I don't know, Virgo. I, I don't know about, you know, 
you're i feel like you need them to really show up like to give you something to show you something like a real i don't know something that's going to be solid that's really going to like convince you in some way that um they want what you want but if you guys aren't talking i don't know virgo maybe you already made it clear what you wanted and now it's their turn to try to like come and meet you halfway and i feel like because they have the two of cups that's what they want to do but at the same time if they don't know and you didn't make it clear or you you know even if you drop the bomb on this person like time away might give them some clarity and you're kind of hoping and praying here also or just keeping it to yourself hoping that they'll get clarity and they'll try to understand what you whatever kind of conversation you had in the past that they weren't i feel like they're getting it though i feel like they're understanding yeah let me take a look and see what your messages of love oracle cards are messages of love okay retreat time alone or in nature will help you recharge so if you've been doing that great um if you are starting to do that keep that going because that is kind of like you know the old saying like don't touch your wounds don't pick the scabs <laughs> leave them alone just leave it alone and let it heal and i kind of feel like that's the message there you know um I don't know that there was ever an opportunity. Like I said, like two people kept coming back or going back and forth with each other and there was like no time for things to heal or clarity to come. It just became like too much like, you know, when you're picking at a wound, like it's going to get infected. Leave that shit alone. Clean it out. Put a nice warm, soothing bandage over it and go rest. Like rest. Virgo and if you're doing that great but this time alone for both of you is really important and it needs to kind of stretch like it needs to kind of stretch to be like you guys need to be in separation you know um until you both can come to this place where it's like not going to be the way it was before okay not going to be the way it was before that is if you know that that's what you want okay oh gosh 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 okay oh here you go self-care clearing your energy field and focusing on yourself before doing anything virgo these cards are speaking yeah oh god you gotta be kidding obstacles unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement virgo i mean come on right am i not the tarot goddess or what <laughs> just kidding very humble i don't think i am i think there's so many great tarot readers out there past me um I'm, I'd be so lucky and blessed to be as great as some of these people out here. But anyway, there's definitely some wounds here that need to be... Do I sound like Darth Vader in when I breathe? Lately, I'm like huffing and puffing like a fire-breathing dragon. That's the second time I keep getting this fire-breathing dragon. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, um, I mean, it, that speaks for itself. This is all about retreating clearing the energy field focusing on self yeah i feel like you you or this other person or both of you might have just kept coming back to each other because there was this difficulty in letting go it's almost like a magnet you know like when you pull a magnet apart um yeah you know, if you pull it really far apart i don't know the magnetic field just kind of dissipates but if you don't go far enough you can still feel the the, the energy like the, the pull. And I think that might have been the problem here. That Like you guys are magnetized to each other. There is no doubt. There is a very strong magnetic pull to each other. But the problem in dealing with whatever issues. Because when, when those two magnets come together. I'm It's a force that's like absolutely unbreakable. The problem is that. It's there's there's a lack of autonomy in the relationship and you guys become enmeshed and so when you try to pull away from each other you don't get far enough away and you get dragged back in and things don't ever really get sorted you know that time like you got to pull further away and you can't be worrying about if the other person is going to find somebody else and or you know if you're gonna be alone forever you can't you can't be projecting your fears like that because you, then you're gonna make it happen you know uh, 
what the person like when two people are meant for each other then there's nothing that can take them apart you know what i mean like like what's meant for you won't pass you by and you have to remind yourself that right if this is if you feel like this is your person okay and i'm talking to those of you who are like yes this is my person and you know there's this with the high priestess there's this all-knowing some of you virgos might be very psychic or you might have some kind of like a lot of virgos actually do but you have some kind of psychic wisdom or knowledge of something like you're very in tune with your intuition and and you know if you're connecting with a water sign they are as well but i don't know i think yours might be way higher okay or maybe you have water in your chart somewhere i think yours might be like it's almost the type of psychic intuition of some sort that like it's impossible to put into words like you can't explain what you feel you can't explain what you know and i know a lot of people are like oh no you know in the medical world that's codependency and that's toxicity no i used to think that myself but i kind of feel like no there's something that's unexplainable right um when there's a meeting with another person but i feel like for you virgo you might have just been a little bit further ahead than this person too uh, maybe not um or this person might have been like you know i mean i'm just gonna ask I'm, I'm really yeah i'm gonna ask what might have caused some kind of what caused a split why was that three of swords there what happened oh oh okay there was passive passivity there was like no movement and kind of like what i was seeing with those cups there there was just this one ace of cup then another and there was all these false starts and that that two of wands is kind of like standing at the crossroads and needing to make a decision about which way to go maybe in regards to this relationship and kind of not being like never picking a lane or never moving forward okay so there was a stalling you know that two of wands does kind of make me feel like okay you know, do we do we turn left? You know, you pull up to the stop sign. You don't know where you're going, and you don't have a map. You don't have the GPS set. You don't like you don't know, and you're kind of sitting there for a minute <laughs> or an hour. I don't know. And you're like, okay, should I take a chance? Should I go left? But what if I get lost? Or should I go right? Yeah, there was this crossroad thing here. And this decision needed to be made, and it feels like either it didn't get made, or it was just someone was taking too long to make a decision. Um, what else oh my gosh see that's it that's what it was weighing the options do i go left do i go right do i go north do i go south uh it, maybe it was a distance a long distance because he just can have a card about traveling or maybe there was like an emotional you know it might have been one person was like you know do i do i like relocate do i travel to be with another person the other person might have also been like having some hormonal issues as well and a lot of up and down and back and forth like all this stuff <laughs> feels like but you've got two decision cards and i feel like the major issue was that both of you didn't know really what to do and you both didn't know what to do and then you'd separate and get mad at the other because so, that person wasn't taking the lead and that person might the other person might be wanting you to take the lead and this back and forth and then you guys get far away from each other just far enough away to start missing each other and then you come back again and then where are you both still here undecided nothing's really happening one person is trying to push the other person to make a decision and that person's trying to push the, you to make a decision and and that's what i was kind of saying in the beginning and i don't remember exactly what it was but i kind of remember there was this like maybe some false starts because you weren't sure and they weren't sure and what the hell you guys needed to like <laughs> this thing needed to blow up and you might have been the one virgo here with the queen of swords that was like bam you threw a lightning bolt down you might have just ended something or because the other person wasn't you know whether you ended something because someone kind of put you in a position to have to end it or you just ended it on your own or if they ended it by just being passive and undecided you know that they might not have ended it but you might have felt like they did whatever i, I don't know on your end i'm seeing like you came down with a hammer in some way okay um and it looks like you broke something apart here. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let's take a look and see what the Chinese signs are here. Let's see your Chinese sign or this person's or both of you or neither of you. Okay. It may not be for you. So 
Take it as it resonates. Okay, you have the ox, year of the ox. Okay, we've got a rat. Can't get them out. Rat, rooster, and a snake. Dog. Dragon. <clears throat> snake again. Dog again. Rooster again. We've got a tiger and one more. A pig. Okay. So if you don't recognize any of those signs, don't worry about it. It doesn't mean it's not your reading. Just a little caveat I need to put in there. Um, okay. Let's move on to... Let's get some names and some other randoms for you, Virgo. Oh. I don't know what that was. All right. Uh, names and other randoms for Virgo. Give Virgo some qualifiers to let Virgo know that this is their reading. All right. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> Hmm. Okay, so I'm just hearing, all right, so we have the initial C, letter C. Um, I'm also hearing like, <clears throat> some, okay, somebody is, I'm not hearing, I always say hearing, but I'm not hearing, I'm a visual. I don't know why I say hearing, I guess because, I don't know why, habit, I see, I'm seeing someone standing trying to figure out what to have for breakfast lunch or dinner like it's undecided it's like kind of like looking in the cabinet looking in the fridge or look what to have for a snack and very like there's so much passive energy like <laughs> just pick something <laughs> it's just looking looking through the cabinets looking through the fridge um or looking for some bowls or some cups or something uh, it's just like, I don't know. What do I, what do I want? What do I want? Okay. I just see someone in their kitchen or somewhere. Uh, it could be even a grocery store trying to figure out, pick something out. What do I want? I don't know what I want. Do I want this? Do I want that? Okay. Hmm. Some of y'all need to shave downstairs. <clears throat> I just need to let you know. Somebody needs to like do a little trimmy trim. Okay. Um, all right. You know what? This is strange. Um, they're telling me something here about a car. Um, there's something about um, somebody. Okay. Somebody. Got a new car? Okay, that's all they're just saying. Or Okay, wait, what else? There's something... Um, okay, so they're saying... It, well, that's why sometimes I say hearing, because I do hear. But I'm not hearing, I'm seeing it. There's something... Um, somebody, you lost something, and they, they're saying to look in your car. It's in your car. Whatever it is, it's in your car. And now they're giving me the name Ravi. R-A-V-I, Ravi, or maybe it's a Rav, Rave, Rav, car, is there a car called a Rav, R-A-V, Rav, or Ravi, or Rabbi, or Rav, Ravi, um, okay, something about your car, there's something, look in your car, whatever you lost, Whatever you're trying to find, maybe you dropped your earbuds or something, I don't know, if you lost something is in your car, and some of you also, um, I'm seeing also a, a cat in a car. Um, I don't know why there would be a cat in a car, but I'm seeing a kitty cat in, a, in somebody's car. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Hmm. Um, okay. Oh. Is someone studying for some kind of test? I'm seeing like studying or looking through a book. Or maybe reading a book, a really thick book. Could be a Bible. Maybe somebody's looking through their Bible or um, one of those big ass unabridged dictionaries. Remember those things? They were like from the year, 
I don't know if you remember, they were so thick. You could use them for a child's booster seat at the table. They were huge. Um, somebody finds like a really old book that's really, really thick also, or looking through a very thick book. You could be reading like a novel that's really thick also, or some kind of book of some sort. We also have the initial H. Mm. And they're also saying somebody's going to find some cash. Yes, in a book. They're just saying, why would there be cash in a book? Is somebody using like cash as a, as a bookmark? I don't know. I'm hearing cash in a book. Or, or someone's selling a, a very old antique book or buying one, paying cash or getting cash for it. Okay. I guess somebody could like carve out like a hole of some sort and put store cash. I don't know. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Maybe like. I don't know. Who does that? <laughs> Why am I seeing that? Maybe you see it in a movie. The hell? I don't know. Um, all right. Oh, that is so strange. Okay, they're just showing me like all this snow. So I don't know where you are in the world, but I'm seeing snow. And it's not the right time for snow. That's what they're saying. So it's an unusual snow. Okay. Unusual Maybe a brief little flurry or two, something like that. I'm not seeing like a blizzard or anything like that. It's just a brief like flurry or somebody's going to have a an ice cream. Um, is it called a flurry? Oh, a McFlurry, maybe for McDonald's. Somebody's going to have a, yeah, I don't know. You're going to have a, a, an ice cream. Somebody's are eating an ice cream because it's really hot where they are. Okay, so we have like some hot and cold temps happen in here. Okay, they keep giving me, so the initial CC, CC. All right. Okay, um, now immediately they just showed me um, one of those containers of toothpicks. So there's something going on with some toothpicks. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What you do with toothpicks, popsicle sticks, toothpicks, ice cream. Hello, it's summer. Um, something to do with like popsicle sticks or toothpicks. Uh, somebody's doing something with toothpicks. I don't. Please don't tell me. I don't want to know what you're doing with those toothpicks. We don't need to know what you're picking at your teeth with and what you're getting out of there. You're digging something up. Oh, and they just told me be careful of your tooth. They said your tooth, somebody, your tooth needs to, you need to go get your tooth fixed. Um, uh, somebody needs to get a root canal. That's what they're saying. Root canal. Holla. Favorite thing in the world. So if you got to go get a root canal or you know that that's coming up, you need to go take care of that. Don't worry. It'll be over before you know it. Um, you'll be fine. Okay. Um, initial J and the initial O. So it could be Joe. Jojo. Um, okay, this is candid, so I'm just going to leave it to your imagination. J O. Okay, could be somebody's initials um, <coughs> or somebody's doing something like the Ace of Wands. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? And then I keep getting like that letter H again. And Capricorn showing up here to me. Yes, for some reason, I'm picking up a Capricorn. And, um, okay, there's someone who's got, like, a tree that they hang some gold ornaments on. Um, so I don't know if that's Christmas or there's just a tree that someone keeps up all year. They hang these gold ornaments or decorative or something like that, like little gold. It's like gold tinkery trinket things on like a tree or on um outside it could be in a garden there's like these little design or decorative little balls or little golden trinket of some sort um like outside in a garden or in a in a yard or somewhere okay um see any more initials okay we have the letter a Okay, and, okay, 
Um, hmm. <laughs> Some, I often get this, and I don't know if we keep channeling the same person, or we're talking about the same person, but somebody is really into ASS, like really, that that's their favorite body part. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, now, I don't know if that's yours, <laughs> or if somebody, or you told somebody that that's what you're into, like you really like that, that heart upside down heart shape but <laughs> but yeah or somebody told you that or you told somebody that and that's like i don't know why i need to know this tmi please tmi but yeah there you go that's what i'm getting something to do with the butt the azz <laughs> okay amy hello amy they just said hi amy somebody said hello amy okay All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Somebody's so they're giving me the name Mike or Michael, and the last initial starts with an N, as in Nancy. Mike N, or maybe Michelle N, or Mickey N. Okay. All right. One more. Then we're gonna get into your charms and stuff. Okay. Um, Um, I'm at a loss for words here. Oh, okay. So someone designs, does something with, um, hold on. Someone does something with like either ceramic or statue cement or something, either paints, cars, decorates, designs, uh, resin maybe creates stuff um, uh, some kind of statues of some sort or does some type of creative work or um, maybe does 3d models or digital type models as well you know um, it could be a job somebody does this for like a job and I'm, I'm hearing like like I'm seeing the company starts it's like an RG RG or R I, f I often say this I don't know if you guys know it's like RG RPG it's something and there's an R and a G so I don't know if that's somebody's name it could be like um Robertson Robertson and Gill I don't know <laughs> there's some kind of company RG I don't know anything what that might be they just I'm just seeing the sign and I'm getting Robert or Robertson or Roberts Okay, let's get into your um, your dice and see what's going on here. And thank you to you guys who sent me the emails about the crime tarot. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be kind of figuring out what I want to do with that. Double Libra and double Pisces. Wow, weird because the Queen of Swords, we had Libra and the King of Cups, we had Pisces. So... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. So, okay, someone is 43, someone is 42, um, someone is 60, someone is 56, and I've got someone here age 16. Um, somebody's got a 16-year-old and a 7-year-old. I don't know if that's your kids or grandkids. I don't know what your situation is. All right, let me see. All right, so we've got some four-digit numbers, 5109. Could be um, like a phone number. Okay, we have another five here that I cannot pick up. 5406. Okay. And they're giving me the number 714-417. Okay. Virgo, Cancer, Le uh, Pisces, and Gemini. Okay. And one more of the Zodiac. Taurus, Leo, uh, Libra, and Capricorn. I did felt like I felt Capricorn earlier. Uh, let's do September birthdays. Okay. September 2nd, August 28th. 
um, August 24th, August, yeah, I said 28th, um, August 29th, we have September 4th and 5th, September 8th, um, and 9th, and someone was born in 1970. and stuff and okay September 11th September 21st um, August 31st um, September 7th I don't remember if I said that or not so and the 12th and September 13th hmm I don't know why September 13th is sticking out to me do I ever call September 13th I don't feel like I do, but you know what? Something's calling me. I don't know why I'm being called to September 13th. Huh, that's on a that's on a Wednesday. Something significant on your birthday, if your September 13th birthday is going to be happening. You know, that's crazy. Like it's like right smack dab in the middle of the month. I don't know, September 13th. All right. Let's get your charms. what do we got here okay oh that's interesting very old key you guys this looks like it's a key with a bunch of oh i thought it was hearts at first but no it's a very old-fashioned key this is almost like kind of a wagon wheel key um so there's something here like something to do with a wagon wheel maybe that's the name of a restaurant or you're gonna open up a tavern <laughs> <laughs> or you f you have a key to this bar and you're going crazy Friday night closing the bar down <laughs> locking everybody out let me at them drinks so yeah you got something going on here with a key and it just feels very much like wagon wheel wild west I don't know what that's about and you also have one of the I feel like we had this before this Victorian coat hanger um, very very like beautiful you know, no wired hangers, man. Like you got, you can't have wire hangers in your closet there. You got to have those padded, beautiful Victorian hangers. Maybe you collect them. You're doing something with them. Um, it could be something here to do with like an airport hanger. And then you have also this cute little turtle. Okay. Um, sea turtle. I don't know if it's a sea turtle or just a basic turtle. Um, I really cannot tell the difference with these charms, but and there's that wagon wheel shape again. What the heck's going on? These patterns. Um, oh, that's weird. Okay, they just said Millennium Falcon. <laughs> they like, tell Virgo Millennium Falcon. What? <laughs> Virgo. I don't know what that means like take it for whatever it's worth something to do with star wars star wars uh i don't know okay leaving it there so yeah something here to do with a turtle um maybe i don't know uh, where i live we're not allowed to we're not allowed to have turtles as pets it's like illegal so um we also can't pump our own gas so yeah there's some connection here to a turtle i don't know what exactly it is but if you know then obviously that's a story for you um maybe it's a ninja turtle or maybe it's something to do with the turtle in the hair fable um yeah you could collect turtles some of you might do I don't know if people do this like you paint these little rock turtles that's so cute i just saw like little rocks that have pebbles and they're like little rock turtles maybe somebody paints them and they you see one somewhere all right virgo i'm gonna leave your reading there i hope that you enjoyed that that was a nice long doozy i know you guys once in a while you like those long one hour readings um yeah so again if you want to get a personal reading there's a link in the description box below please click that link and you can book a reading with either myself or Brandy, who's basically like the second me when I'm not available. So trust me, you won't be disappointed with her. And um, yeah, and I think if there's any other announcements, I, I have nothing else to say. Like I legit, I just hope you guys have a fantastic day or the rest of your time awake after listening to this reading. And you make really great choices in your life, you guys good choices 
no regrets, and always be positive and happy. All right, you guys. Love you. Bye.